Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good and enjoying this UiPath training session. So far, we have covered basics of UiPath and different types of workflows like sequences, flowchart, a state machine, and then we covered variables and arguments. In today's session, we are going to cover one of the important topic in UiPath, Excel automation. This is going to be a master class. It can be a little bit longer, but I will try to give a detailed walkthrough of Excel automation, some practical examples. So make sure you have UiPath installed in your system and get ready to practice with me. That way you will quickly learn and understand each and every aspect of Excel automation using UiPath. So this is going to be complete guide of Excel automation and we are going to understand what are workbook activities, Excel activities and their differences. Then we will go through workbook activities and then Excel activities. So let's first understand what is difference between workbook and Excel activity. So UiPath provides two different ways to automate Excel files. One is workbook activities and the other one is Excel activity. So as in the table you can see, I have highlighted the difference between workbook activities and Excel activities. So you can see in workbook activities, we don't need to install Excel in our system. So suppose that you want to automate an Excel file and you don't want to install Microsoft Excel in your system, then you can use workbook activities. But if you want to use Excel activity, you need to install Microsoft Excel in your system, otherwise it will not work. The other major difference is workbook activity is faster for larger data sets compared to Excel activity, but Excel activity also support advanced Excel functions. Like you can say if you want to work with graphs, pivot tables, coloring and more advanced operation. The other difference between workbook and Excel activities are workbook activities can only work with XLSX and XLS file, whereas Excel activities can work with XLSX, XLS, CSV and XLSM file as well. And the next difference is workbook activities cannot work with graphs, pivot tables, or you can't read or write cell colors. So if I summarize these differences, we can say that workbook activities are great for lightweight operations, while Excel activities are perfect for handling advanced activities. So now let's see what are main workbook activities in UiPath. We have read range, write range, read cell, write cell, append range and read cell formula. You can also see the one line detail of these activities like read range is used to read the data from the excel file or write range is used to write the data into excel sheet. The read cell is a, like a, if you want to read one single value or one single cell. Write cell is if you want to write a value in a specific cell. So append range is if you want to append data in an existing sheet. Read cell formula is if you want to read formula from a specified cell you can read it from there. So now let's go to UiPath Studio and do some practical examples. So this is UiPath Studio and I will create a new process here. Let's name it Excel Practical. So we have created this project Excel Practical and now in the activities pane, we already have some activities mentioned here. So let's see if we have Excel activities. So now you can see when I typed Excel, it is showing no result found. It means that we don't have Excel activities installed in this project. In that case, we will need to install Excel activities. So let's first install Excel package. So for that, you have to click on manage package. Once you click on manage package, there will be a pop up. You can click on official in the left side and then in the search box, you can type Excel. Here you can see we have one package here, uipart.excel.activities. We will install this one. So current version is 2.24.4. We will install this one, we will click on install and then click on save. So now it is installing this package in this project. So now if we type excel here, now you can see there are many activities for this excel. So let's first explore workbook activities. For that we will type here workbook. So workbook activities are present in this location, system, file and then workbook. So here you can see we have many workbook activities like append range, get table range, read cell formula, read cell, read column, read range and other activities. So let's first use read range workbook activity. So as the name suggests, it is reading the data from the workbook. We need to pass workbook path and the sheet name and the range. So let's create one excel file first and then we'll put some data there. So I already have one excel sheet here. So we'll copy it in the project folder. So we had created this project. We'll open this and we'll paste it here. So I will show you what is there. So in this say Excel sheet, I have added some product details. So we have product ID column, product name, category, price, quantity, and total value. We'll now try to read this Excel file using this activity. So now we need to pass workbook path here. You can pass full path as well, or if the file is present in the project folder, you can simply type the name in this workbook path. So I have placed this Excel file in this project folder itself. So I will copy the name and we'll put it here. Now this is excel file, so I have to put extension as well. So we'll put xlsx here. Now we need to put sheet name. So let me open this excel file again. And you can see we have a sheet as sheet1. 
so we'll copy it from here and we'll put in a sit name and then we have to pass range now what is range so suppose that you want to read data in this excel sheet from a to b in that case you need to pass the range for this part only so let's not pass any range as of now and we'll try to run we will read whole sheet and in the properties you can see we have file path here we are leaving the range as blank we have already passed it name and we have a data table as output so we'll create a variable here so let's let's create one variable dt excel data so once it is created we'll try to print that value so to print that value we have one activity output data table so what it does as this dt excel data is a data table variable data type so output data table as text convert this data table into a string variable so let's put the variable name here and the output will be a, a string variable so let's put output text so now you can see we have output text variable with a string variable type now let's display this data in a message box so we'll pull message box here and we'll put output data variable sorry output text variable and let's now try to run this project so now you can see whatever data was present in excel file it is displaying in this message box now if i want to specify some range so let's specify a1 till b4 in that case it will read data from a1 to b4 only now you can see it is just showing three rows and two columns so this is how read range workbook works so now let's use write range workbook activity we'll put it here now what we can do is we had read this data from sheet 1 now we'll put the same data in sheet 2 so what we need to do now we need to pass workbook path here so let's copy this path and paste it here then we'll put on sheet sheet 2 then we'll put the data table variable which is dt excel data and then there is a one more field cell so we will keep it empty for now and let's run this board so now what it did it would have created one excel sheet now you can see we have one excel sheet and whatever the data it read from sheet 1 like a1 to b4 it has written the data now you can see there is no header header means the column name like product id and product name it's not there so to get the header name we need to enable in the property section so in the properties you can see there is a add header checkbox so let's check this one and then we'll try to run it now you can see column name is also coming now one thing is left the cell field let's type some cell so we'll put c4 and try to run this one so now what it will do it will write the data from the c4 cell so let's see so now what is happening it has written the data from c4 one thing to keep in mind it will not remove any existing data it will just write the data where you have mentioned the code so if you don't delete it it will remain here itself so this is how the read range workbook write range workbook works the same you can explore other activities like the read cell workbook or read cell formula in meanwhile we can move to excel activities so as i told in the beginning of this session excel activities are for advanced operations so these two are main activities and other activities are categorized like workbook range sales chart so every category has some important activities like insert sheet, delete sheet, save excel file, unprotect sheet, duplicate sheet, invoke VBA, for each excel sheet. In the range you can see we have write data table, read range, append range, filter, auto fit, sort range, clear sheet, remove duplicate. In the sales category we have get cell color, read cell formula, read cell value, write cell, auto fill. In the chart category we have get chart, insert chart, update chart. So let's explore one by one. We'll go to UI path again now we'll create a new sequence so let's name it excel activities and we'll type excel in activities pane so you can see there are many categories sale charts pivot table range workbook and we have three main activities so one is excel processor scope the other one is single excel processor scope and use excel file so let's first use excel processor scope so excel processor scope you can use only with combination of use excel file so you have to drag use excel file as well here so now why and when you need to use excel process scope so you can see in the property section there are many settings like display alerts existing process section file conflict resolution launch method macro settings process mode show excel window so if you want to change any configuration value you need to use excel process scope otherwise you can skip it and you can directly use use excel file here so let's first use use excel file so now you can see this is a container it contains one sequence here 
and whatever the activity is listed here you need to use inside this use excel file so in the use excel file it is asking for a workbook path so let's pass one file path here so we will be using the same excel file we'll copy this name product data we'll put it here and then extension it also has some properties so like if you have this excel password protected you can pass the password here and if you want to mention that if this excel file is not created or does not exist you can check this box it will create a new file if it is not created then we have another checkbox keep excel file open we'll tick it as well it means that whenever the process ends it will not close this excel file then we have read only so if you want to just perform read operation you can check this read only it will not save any information in that excel file then we have resize window you can select any option if you want then we have save changes so if you want to keep saving the changes in the excel file you can check this one then we have sensitivity level and then sensitivity operation so now let's do some operation on this excel file so the first thing we will do we will read the some data from excel file as we did in the workbook activities so we'll search for read range so this is the read range activity let's drag and drop here in the read range activity now you can see it is asking for a range so let's pass a range here so we want to read data from c to one from a to f so let's pass this so now what we need to do here we need to specify the seat name here first so we will be using excel dot seat one so to get the seat one here without like typing you can click on plus icon then you have to click on excel and then you can select this seat on which you want to do this activity so we'll select sheet one here you can see now and then we need to specify the range so we'll write range here and then we'll pass the range details so we want to read from a1 to f let's say 4 so it will read the data from a1 to f4 now we have to save this data so let's create one dt means data table so dt excel data then we'll do the same thing we'll display this data in the message box so let's use output data table and we'll create one string variable and we'll take one box activity we'll put output data variable here so before running we need to close this excel file let's close this one you can see here ui path is showing one warning for this activity so it is saying that ui path recommends to use this activity like use excel file into excel process scope we will see that activity as well but let's run it so now you can see it is reading the data from here and it has displayed in this message box and we had selected keep excel file open and that's the reason this excel file is still open so if we uncheck this one it will close this excel file as well so once i click ok it will close this excel file so now i'll explore some other activities as well let's see delete sheet so we can try to delete sheet 2 that we had created in the workbook activities to select the sheet 2 you can click on this plus icon then you can select sheet 2 that's it once you run it it will read that excel sheet so you can see the sheet 2 is deleted we also have a duplicate sheet activity so you can provide the sheet name like sheet 1 and it will create a new duplicate sheet and then the same data will be copied there so now you can see here we have one sheet 1 and then the new sheet with the same data in the same way you can use other activities inside this use excel file activity so i can explain some important activities here like so we have autofill activity it means that it uses the data in the previous cell to fill the next cells the get cell color activity it is to get the color name of the excel cell then the read cell formula it will read the formula from the cell read cell value it will read the value from one particular cell write cell it will write one value into one cell then we have chart activity like get chart insert chart or update chart get chart means getting the chart information insert chart means inserting one chart based on some data update chart means if you want to update some information in that existing chart then we have some pivot table activities then we have range activity append range like if you want to append data into the existing data present in the excel file auto fit range means like auto fitting the width of the column then we have clear sheet or range or table activity it means that if you want to clear all the data all the formatting from the one excel sheet you can use that then we have copy paste range like if you want to copy some part of the excel sheet and paste in another excel sheet you can use this one we have delete column default delete rows you can delete the columns or delete the rows from the excel sheet then we have export to csv suppose that you want to export some data into a csv file you can use this one in the same way all the activities are self-explanatory you can just go through it once and if you have any doubt or any question to drop it in the comment section i will try to answer that one and this is all in today's session i hope you liked it do provide your feedback in the comment section i will be happy to take the feedback 
एंड इम्प्रूव इन आवर अपकमिंग वीडियोज थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सी इन दिन नेक्स्ट सेशन